Asbury president, Alex Sink eliminated thousands of Florida jobs while taking over $8 million in salary and bonuses. Alex Sink, not one of us, one of them. Don't let Alex Sink Florida. In Florida, where the rich and powerful come to play, we're exploring the perks of one of the world's most elite frequent flyer programs, Air Alex. Now, this program isn't for just everyone. Even among the rich and powerful, only elected officials can fly family members subsidized at taxpayer expense. Wow, now that's a perk. Here's how it works. Run for office as the financial watchdog that is going to change Tallahassee. Send me to Tallahassee, and the spending spree stops right there. Once elected, rack up a $400,000 bill flying around the state, mostly for official business, but sometimes, when it's convenient, you just ask the pilot to stop by and pick up your family. As long as the plane is headed in the right direction, it's okay. The general thought is, if I'm leaving Miami and I'm doing something in Boca on the way back to Tallahassee, we're heading in the right direction. Then, all you have to do is reimburse the state for a fraction of the cost of the flight. Now, that's luxury reserved only for the truly rich and powerful. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky for Alex C. as she and her family enjoy flying on your dime. Don't let Alex sink Florida. As my president. Alex Sink eliminated thousands of Florida jobs while taking over $8 million in salary and bonuses. Alex Sink, not one of us, one of them. So my father never had a job over the holidays. I grew up in public housing, uh, but everything, I had great parents, they educated, they got me, they pushed me to get, go to work, get an education, marry the right person, and live the American dream. So I had every sort of odd job you can imagine growing up. I what, sold TV guys door to door, I cleaned telephone booths, those were filthy, that's the worst job. Uh, the, uh, I worked at grocery stores, I was an 85 cent an hour fry cook, I did yards, opinion newspaper, delivered newspapers. And, uh, and when Ann, after Ann and I got married, that uh, we uh, we went to community college, and then I joined the Navy. Uh, I was even I wasn't stationed here. Ann's brother retired here. He was in 34 years, started as enlisted, and retired as a commander uh, right here. I don't think he's I think he's out of town. I don't think he made it tonight. Uh, but uh, we uh, I joined the Navy. I served. On Thank <laughs> you. 